Well, we might be several weeks away from spring, but it is never too early to start thinking about planning that summer garden. Yes, and here with the dirt from the University of Illinois Extension Horticulture Educator, Brian Pankaw. Brian, glad to have you here. I know a lot of people are ready to just at least look forward to that spring garden. What should people be thinking about at this point in time? Yeah, everybody's getting anxious. I know yeah. if, if they're like me, they've got a mailbox full of all the colorful seed catalogs. I'm really starting to think about it. So uh, one of the big reasons why I'm thinking about it right now is like seeds have been in short supply the last few years. There's a lot of people into gardening, which is great, but get your orders in soon for even, you know, landscape plants and things. But as far as vegetable gardening goes, like my planning for this year really starts with last year because I want to rotate crops in my vegetable garden if I have enough space. Um, and really, I try to go for about a three-year rotation. So I don't want the same type of plant in the same place, but once every three years. And that kind of helps with dis controlling diseases, uh, nutrient levels in the soil. There's a bunch of benefits to kind of rotating plants. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know that I knew that. I didn't know it was every three years. Yeah, a two to three year rotation is what a lot of folks go for. And um, it gets a little tricky if you don't grow a lot of different things. You know, I know a lot of people have kind of their favorites of tomatoes and peppers and cucumbers. Yeah. Or maybe they don't grow anything well, else. Well, and that's what we've got over um, there in the kitchen today, tomatoes <laughs> and peppers. I know um, people are definitely looking forward to tomato season. You mentioned getting the seeds in the mail and all of that. How do you know, though, if they're a good seed? Like, I would think not all seeds are created equal. Are they? Well, uh, yeah, for the most part, there's pretty standard, you know, like if you if you pick up a packet of seeds like these at either a garden center here locally or I order things because, of course, I want the best, most fancy variety. Well, see, so how do I know which um, one's the best, most fancy? If, if you pick these up, they're usually grown in pretty standard conditions. So most seed companies are offering a pretty reputable seed uh, supply. But what I really like about these is there's just tons of info on the back of your seed, the very seed packet that you pick up, where it can kind of tell you the timing for planting, the spacing, um, do you plant, can you start it indoors or should you plant it straight outside? Um, so those are some of the questions that folks need to answer right now because uh, for lots of this stuff, if you're going to start seeds inside, really for things like tomatoes that take about sometimes eight to ten weeks to get ready for outdoor planting, that's right oh, now. Wow. You know, pretty soon here that you need to be getting your seeds and starting those. Because, you know, all of us kind of work backwards off that frost-free date for our area, which is mm -hmm. around April 15th, April 20th is usually around when I start to consider frost-free. But for some plants, like tomatoes are especially sensitive to the cold, uh, we really recommend it's, it's more like uh, the last half of May to June 1st before you're going to put tomato plants out. Because not only do we want it frost-free when you put a tomato plant out, but we, we want the nighttime temperatures to be above about 45 or so. Yeah. And that's really getting pretty far into May before yeah, we really yeah. see that consistently. Okay, you've got a webinar series coming up. Yes, we do. Um, myself and several other educators around the state are coming together to do a grow, Growing More Vegetables uh, webinar series. And it actually really is focused on Central Illinois. So we'll talk about everything in, you know, in context of our growing zone here in Central Illinois. Uh, the series is planned throughout the spring and we'll cover everything top to bottom from planting your crop rotation to how to start seeds to how to put them out in the garden and harvest things. So, Very so cool. you said the back of the seeds kind of give you the breakdown of maybe like when to plant and some of the details, but how do you know like what kind of seeds and plants would be good fit for you? Like I need low maintenance, easy, <laughs> and like kind of around the same time frame if I'm pairing them together. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's, you know, <laughs> vegetable gardens may not be for you. They're, they're kind of by members. I have um, successfully grown tomatoes, but not yeah. outside of that. You uh, are asking a lot, I guess, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm, it's not as hard as you think to grow vegetables. But um, I, I did bring this book today that is really a great guy that Extension has. I mean, it, it covers all the stuff we'll cover in that webinar series. Um, it's available for sale in my office if you want to pick up a copy or online at our Pubs Plus uh, website. We sell all these publications. But this really goes through it all and has just kind of step-by-step, -step, yeah. different times good. of the season, what you do. And Very good. Good details. resource there. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Happy yeah. early planting and planning. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, there's a look at their website and another awesome resource for sure. And, of course, we'll connect you to at CILiving.tv.